is. Oh, I like this a lot more now. Dark Pit. A slept, little slept on character. People are like, oh, he's just mid tier. He might be mid tier, but he has some stuff. He can kill you off stage very easily. Ike has super armor's up B, but that side B, he might be able to clank with and kill him. Those errors are very good at sniping Ike off stage. Yeah, you gotta think about that lingering Nair off stage. Although, Nair is a move that notoriously does not work. Move, Nair is also a move that notoriously does work. Oh, yeah, Nair does comp. It's also a combo tool, as you can see there. We're gonna see how. Toxic does this. I, not a very, uh, not a matchup you see a lot. And that's the Ike mix-up game. Will he nair or will he grab? Everyone's favorite game show. It, yeah. It's a really good 50-50 because everyone's very scared of Ike nair and they want to parry it. So if you just kind of like, don't nair, they can't do it. Good side B. That oh, was under Oog. Couldn't quite get the confirm off of yes. that, so decides to try to bait a reaction. Business Goldfish knowing better. Oh, yeah. Business Goldfish probably knows the matchup much more than Toxic does as he's playing Dark Pit. Dark Pit. Oh, good up air. Uh, Dark Pit's not as commonly played, uh, obviously, because everyone frees him. Oh, he's just like a mid tier or mid tier. But Dark Pit has some sauce. I mean, I've seen people who have like 90% of the cast in like the top tier. I'm not sure <laughs> how much the word <laughs> mid means to me anymore. Well, people are very dudes. That was a good up air, though, from Toxic, taking the lead. Let's see if he can capitalize on this good grab, good fair. If you notice a lot more, he's not just Nair, he's also doing a lot of forward tilt. Oh, good Nair, good. Good Ike Nair, <laughs> obviously. Just so. keeping the pace, doing a very good job. Spacing out Pit, a, lot, a big thing here in this match would probably be that Nair's actually outspacing a lot of Pit moves. His Nair is his main neutral gimmick. He kind of gets beat out by Ike's Nair. So you're going to have to play a little slower in this matchup, and I don't think Goldfish really wants to or has figured that out yet. It yeah, seems. though this Nair is hitting way too much. It is because he can't get in. You, how do you get in? I feel I... like every Nair that is going out is hitting its target, and Business Goldfish is going to sit on this Halo platform and think, or little. Yeah. And, you know... Oh, he's playing a little slower, it looks like. Oh, Toxic is definitely going to be thinking about, hey, he's really, really conditioned, because how mad he is at this Nair. This Nair is pretty infuriating if you can hit by it, and you can't, like, parry it. Like, one of these times, he's going to drop down and grab. Yeah. Oh, but I don't think he might do a save that for the next game. Oh, good. good reflector. That reflector is very good. Got a little mix-up recovery, too. That might... Save him at least a stock. Gets the arrows. Again, Dark Arrows are very strong and can probably kill at some percent. I don't know about Ike or what percent that would be. I would like to talk about the possibility of a three stock here. Ooh, that's gonna kill! Oh, good DI. Good DI. Good job, too. Four. Tries to. Okay. Gets back on stage. Good up there. I would like to talk about. Oh my the, goodness, dude, never mind. Business Goldfish DI is on point right now. And that's the game. I would like to talk about the reality of a three stock here. That was a pretty good three stock. Talk. Yeah. Really that was being like very yeah. solid play. Nice. Didn't really overcommit to anything. I want to watch this. The good up air. I liked it up air a lot from Toxic. I didn't get to mention it. I also like just like the like up B. Like, you're probably going to jump because you're in there. So I'm just going to up B. Which is the read there, I assume. I, I think, think there is no world where Toxic play, pit, picks Dark Pit again. Uh, no. He has other characters. He can pick them. Uh, what do you expect to see? Uh, Lucino. Uh, I Lucino. see. If he goes Lucino. He also does have a leg, apparently. I don't know if he goes like, Ditto against Toxic. I, d I wouldn't, personally, but you could. Maybe Toxic really bad at the like, Ditto, but that up air. I, that up air is so good. I, I mean, I you're air. talking about the up air. I'm just still thinking that about that little Nair. Yeah, Nair's too small. Yeah. Again, off Crazy stage, can draw a perfect circle. <laughs> true. Uh, big thing was that matchup was that Nair's just not big enough to beat Ike. Going to Kalos, oh, he is slowing down to crawl. Let's see what business does. I want to, I kind of want to see a switch. Because, yep. Well, I mean, I doubt he's picking that character again, especially if he has such an expansive pool. Yep, there's Lucina. Ike, 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 Ike. He's picking 16 different Ikes. It's going to be very Falcon. hard to beat 16 Ikes at once. Falcon. But Falcon Ooh. is the character to do it. He was hovering over Lucina, then he went back to Falcon. Okay. Falcon on this stage is a... Interesting. I'm actually want to see what he does. So we're going to see if he falls into the same trap again <laughs> with the Nair. Toxic is standing there like, yeah, I know. You're just going to Nair. He's not engaging. Very smart move. It Safe is pressure in Toxic seems very synonymous right now. Look at that Nair. Again, that Nair might beat a lot of Captain Falcon stuff. And if he doesn't if he doesn't want to parry, it's going to be kind of hard to get him. I don't think it's just Captain Falcon Whoa. stuff that Nair is beating. I think that Nair is beating Toxic stuff. That n no, Nair Toxic is beating Goldfish stuff right now. Just by yeah. that Nair. That Nair is so good. That Nair is amazing. It's probably one of my top five Nairs in the game just because of how versatile it is, how combos into itself, also other kill moves. Also, is bigger than half the cast. Look at that. Already with a commanding lead, Toxic. Good oh my gosh, was that a shield poke? 
I don't know. I did not see that. Stomp. Goes for the back air. Okay, just close not out of it yet, but he's gonna have to do some explosive Falcon stuff, which is definitely a thing you can do. I mean, what Mrs. Goldfish is really looking for here is some sort of setup, whether it's a falling Nair one or a back air to get him into disadvantage, or, or maybe that. carry him off the stage and get hit by his side B. See, getting okay. Another thing I want to see more is getting hit by the side B because it stops him <laughs> again. Like getting hit by side B off stage, not on stage. Okay, he's taking my advice too fast. <laughs> I'm getting convinced hit by that Toxics at this point is just trying to make him mad. I feel like. Like, if your opponent's mad, you've won the mental game. I don't think he's mad. I think he's just like, how do I beat this Nair machine? How do I beat this this one move that's not, which is everything? Which might be better than like half, like, oh, that only goes for the back air. Okay. He does seem to have advantage. Frame traps in. Again, one nice thing about Ike is that side B is very, oh my, good recovery. That was a really nice recovery, yeah. That was a good little uh, wall jump into up B, but like, turning back to the camp, I think, also good kill. So he's going to be looking for a grab, a first hit Nair, a back air. Basically, Captain Falcon things. And the full Nair is not exactly, especially in that position, not exactly what he wanted. Yeah. I think he's just trying to get straight hits to get, oh, good dash attack. Stray hits, playing the straight hits game against Ike, a little bit questionable in my I opinion. I think it could happen. I think you could do it. Because Ike's biggest issue is that you can just parry everything. He hasn't been doing that really well, though. Overall, he's been kind of running into stuff. But as you can see... Oh, yeah. That hits from above, so that was a little concerning. <laughs> I would not like to see that come out. See, he had time to react to that side B, and he still could. He's too scared to punish it. I mean, I'm pretty scared, Ike, to be honest. I feel like he's being fearless at the wrong points of the game, Ooh, like running into that there. nair, or. Yeah. I think it's just. It's hard. Yeah. Ike's a hard character if you don't know what you're doing. Good it's up. very safe. I like the up smash, by the way. Because it's a good like mix up. He's been like narrowing, so he's been trying to shield. Oh, yeah. And Captain Falcon isn't yeah. exactly the best character to play against safe moves either. Falcon could be. I mean, yeah, Falcon against Pikachu is not the greatest, but I do think Falcon was not the issue there. Yeah. I do. I think Falcon I could work there. But also, I just liked it up smash. Is this? Is this? I didn't see yeah, Nair up. Oh, he waits. He waited. Yeah. That was nice. You got him toxic. Very solid 2-0 overall. Um. Look at that. Just get over on. Uh, next is going to be, oh, Whirlpool versus Frosty. Okay. Whirlpool. Whirlpool is a Rob from, New, I believe, New Hampshire. You clapped. Was that adding emphasis? That was adding emphasis. Okay, okay. I got so you. So much I got of you. it. But Whirlpool is a very, very good Rob. Frosty's a very, very good Fal uh, not Falcon, uh, Falco. Uh, Frosty's pretty slow, methodical overall. He's going to do a bunch of the uh, reflectors. He's going to be very slow with it. Overall, pretty good. Uh, Whirlpool? Might have to counter that. I do know this matchup isn't the best for Rob, because frame run reflector, uh, up tilt combo is pretty easy for Frosty to do. But I, if not Whirlpool even to mention.